Hello, beautiful friends. It's Erica here to do the November 2020 reading for the Collective Divine Masculine. We're going to be taking a look at the themes, what's going on this month for the Divine Masculine. And I know many of you guys watch this, obviously, for a specific relationship of some kind. But as you guys know, I am the biggest advocate of watching this for your inner masculine energies no matter what your primary energy is. This is the part of ourselves that takes the lead in our life, that's the protector, that takes action. So we're going to be looking at what's going to be going on for the masculine. And I will say that in November, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have some ash here from my Palo Santo. Um, in November, Mars, which represents masculine energy when it comes to relationships finally freaking goes direct on November 14th, 13th or 14th, I think, depending on where you are in the world. It has been a long haul of Mars being retrograde. So we're going to see how that's going to impact the divine masculine this month, because if you've been feeling like things haven't been going forward in your life the way you want, and you maybe keep coming up against dead end after dead end, or just like there's just no movement forward, it's likely the influence of Mars in Aries retrograde. If you guys haven't seen that video, please check it out because um, I've actually done, Mars has been in Aries for a while and there's several phases. He was direct and now he's been retrograde and he's going to go direct again in um, November through, I think, February-ish, March-ish. Don't quote me on that date, but um, if you look at the Venus and Mars transits playlist on my channel, you'll see those videos there if you want to get more into it. And I always recommend watching my videos in hindsight too, especially with big things that have happened in your life, because you'll see how they played out for you in the energies. So let's get started. I'm going to pull a major arcana theme for November for the divine masculine. And I will be doing an extended. The link will be down below. And I will also be doing a video for the Divine Feminine separately. So let's take a look at Divine Masculine Major Arcana for November. Oh, and we have the Tower. Okay, that is not necessarily a horrendous thing, guys. This, to me, feels like the masculine busting out of being in retrograde. Um, this can be a massive breakthrough in one's life. And we're going to pull a minor arcana as well to see what accompanies this. And then we're going to pull a lot more cards as we go. So let's see what accompanies the tower for the masculine for November 2020. What does this tower relate to? A sudden unexpected change of events. And we have the eight of orbs. Well, wow, so like I said, he's busting out of jail. Oh my God, this isn't even fun. This looks like it's a, it's a tower and it looks like a castle, but it kind of looks like this guy's just breaking out of jail. And here's the eight of swords, which is where we felt trapped and powerless guys. Just like I said, the masculine is busting out of feeling powerless and stuck and like he can't do anything. So big time burst forward. It's, I'm getting the image of, um, <laughs> why they're giving it to me like this, but it's pretty funny. <laughs> Someone's learning how to drive a stick shift car. <laughs> like they, it's like they lurch forward quickly because they, like, I think they let the clutch out too quickly. <laughs> it's like you go from being, like, stuck to all of a sudden, boom, like, jumping forward. I don't know why I'm getting it in that way, but that's what I'm seeing. Oh, my gosh, that's so funny. Um... That's hilarious. I've never had that reference before, but here you go. So Divine Masculine, you're going to be like <laughs> propelled forward in your life in some capacity in November. And remember, November, we have the 1111 portal we have, which is a portal of manifestation. 1111 is very powerful. And on the 1st of November, it's 11-1-2020 which is a manifestation of a new beginning in partnerships, equal partnerships, when you look at the numerology of that. So it's pretty amazing. Um, so we're going to look at some more themes here. But before I do that, I want to just put pause for a moment 
because I wanted to just make a quick announcement. I know that this was inspired by what's happening in the world here for us parents, at least in California where I live right now, is I know that many parents are really, really struggling with their children because we are still in lockdown here in many places. We do have some schools that are open, but for example, in my daughter's school district, they are still completely full distance learning. And I know in other parts of the country and over the world, kids are going back to school. And even here in California, my daughter has friends that go to other schools, private schools that have been going back since the beginning of the year. So our children are really, really, really struggling. And as a parent, I know how hard this is. This is probably the most difficult experience that that you could imagine watching children suffering. I've watched more and more kids posting what effect this complete lockdown. These kids have been out of school in person since March 13th, guys. This is just locally to me, but I know it's not just here in California. That's how many months ago? It's almost eight months ago. So um, the isolation and the loneliness is getting very difficult. So please do send a prayer to the children that are struggling in this capacity. Um, I know that it's really difficult. So in honor of you parents that are doing everything in your power, you school teachers that are doing everything in your power, you caregivers that are doing everything in your power, I wanted to express my gratitude and support for you this month in particular. I'm going to be offering a special 30% off my Divine Family um, series of products. That is my Divine Family program and also my Divine Family, the Divorce Edition for single parents. Um, and that's for not even just for single parents, but for any caregiver of children that have gone through a divorce. And because of the special interest there. So I'm offering 30% off and this will be for the month of November. Um, there's a coupon code listed below in the description box that you can use if you've been wanting to get these programs. Guys, my Divine Family program is over eight hours of channeled messages from the Divine Child about Divine, divine and Distorted Masculine and Feminine Energies in the parental or caregiver role. And many people have looked at these videos to... Uh, for their own inner child healing. But again, 30% off for the month of November. C code is down below. And my divorce edition already is 50% off, but I'm doing an additional 30% off that. So I think it brings the price down to like $15 and change for um, that product. So guys, if you've been wanting to look at it, please do go check it out. Um, I hope that it is supportive for you as we really... We need to be here for our children in a very powerful way. And I do appreciate any kind thoughts and um, prayers sent to all the children that are struggling right now um, in this, ep this epidemic of isolation and loneliness, guys. So um, now back to our regularly scheduled reading. <laughs> So let's get some themes here for the Divine Masculine. And guys, the Masculine wants to bust out of jail. The jail that these kids are feeling. It's really crazy. So let's get um, overall themes for the Divine Masculine for the month. And we're getting the Panda. Staying balanced and in your essence. So I do feel like this breakthrough is something that restores an energy of balance. It's almost like there's been tension building and things have been uneven for something in your life or multiple aspects of your life. And, and it's like whatever this breakthrough is, it's like it relieves the tension and it restores a balance. It's almost like I'm getting the feeling of... Um, me and my guides are really interesting today. So they're giving me this, the, the example of the feeling of like, imagine when you're wearing a pair of sweatpants, right? <laughs> this is so ridiculous, but it's so true. When you're wearing a pair of sweatpants and you take the waistband and you twist it around your waist. So it's completely uncomfortable. 
it's completely uncomfortable and it's like you just feel like you just want it to go back to balance you just want it to go back to center that's what they're showing me that's the feeling i'm getting for the masculine in um the month of november here so let's get a, another card here for the overall theme for the divine masculine for november 2020 and we get blessed oh how sweet is that it is a 22 card a master a master card here a master number of partnership I do feel like there's balance being restored in a relationship here. Now, this doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. This also can relate to um, our career and our finances. If we've been putting a lot of um, energy into something and just not been getting the return from it, again, it feels like there are blessings coming in here. Let me get another theme for the Divine Masculine for November. Don't push the envelope. Like I was saying, there's a balance that this breakthrough will have for the masculine, but this isn't where the masculine, while he's busting out of jail, he's not coming out, you know, screaming loudly and sprinting around the room. You know, he's, it's like he's busting out of jail and standing there in his power is what I'm seeing. It's not like he's breaking free and suddenly running rampant all around with like a chicken with his head cut off. I mean, it's literally like I'm getting that image of where someone, <laughs> this is so crazy. I'm getting the craziest images today. Um, like, you know, when the football team comes onto the field and they break through like this large piece of paper and it's like they bust onto the field like blah we're here i get the image of the divine masculine busting through that paper and just standing there in his power he's not running he's not trying to get accolades he's not like you know pounding his chest he's completely busting through and then being present Wow, I'm kind of really eager to see what's going to come in for the rest, for, for the more detail here with the tarot. Let me see which deck I'm drawn to here for the masculine. All right, let's get this, getting called to this one here. So let's take a look at what's going on for him. More specifically, what does this relate to? Like, let's see. The energies that for him throughout the month the top three will be the main energies the flow of energies through the month so recent past here oh we have the wheel of fortune what's coming in here is the page of swords and moving forward is the ten of pentacles so remember the page of swords for me often is somebody that's in watch and observe mode this is where I'm just kind of sit back, watch, not really engage. I'm going to be watching from the sidelines. And when I have the Wheel of Fortune with this Page of Swords, this is what I feel like is the masculine is going to get out of. There's suddenly a turn of um, energy that happens in November that breaks, that brings success here. And Ten of Pentacles can represent financial success. Um, family success, happiness. And so we've got two tens bookending the page of swords. So let's get another layer here. These are the main energies. Let's see why the wheel of fortune is here. <laughs> we have the knight of wands. See there he's getting ready to bust out. And the page of swords is here because of the devil. Okay. See, he's been trapped. He's been trapped in something that has not been um, in feeling powerless. Let's, again, with this Eight of Swords. The devil can be anything in your life that you have given your external power away from. Uh, given, uh, given, your extra, given your power away to. That makes more sense, Erica. <laughs> and let me get a card on the Ten of Pentacles. The King of Cups. See, there's love and emotional maturity and the opening of the heart. 
So there could be a feeling here of um, really wanting to, but like this is the masculine breaking free, but then kind of pull it like out of this, not hesitation mode, but let's get some more. But then there is this reward, this reward for this movement. Get a card, another card on the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Swords. And let's get a card on the Devil and the Page of Swords and the Magician. Yeah, see, this is where... Um, oh, wow, this is so crazy. All right, guys, I'm going to give you um, something in one moment here. And the King of Cups gets the Empress. Wow, see, there's something beautiful beginning here, especially with the Divine Feminine that is becoming tangible, becoming a success. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of something that I was given in a channeling last week that is highly significant here. With this page of swords, the devil and the magician, I was shown the divine masculine in a cage. And this masculine was in a cage trying to get out and he was really frustrated because he wanted to get out of this cage, wanted to get out of this cage. And he ended up... Um, like yelling, hey, somebody get me out. And he was on a ship. He was on a ship in a cage underneath. And nobody was listening and he was really frustrated. He shouldn't have been in that cage. And um, they were basically showing me a choice point for the masculine collective, okay? This is exactly what I'm seeing here in November. I'm seeing almost a split of paths that, that the masculine energy can take. Because we have free will, guys. We are, we, are, we are on a path that our soul is calling for us to be on, but we can always choose to ignore it, to run away from it, to, ch make, to choose another path. That is the um, experience of being a human with free will choice, no matter what's quote-unquote destined. And guys, I actually did a podcast. My last podcast episode I did, the eighth episode, was about free will and destiny. Do go check it out if you're interested in that topic. Um, but what, what they showed me was the masculine had this, a choice point when he was in the cage because he was feeling powerless, stuck, couldn't move. And the, the distorted masculine was feeling helpless and powerless, and he was eventually let out of the cage and there were all these Vikings on the ship. No joke. It was really kind of a brutal scene. And he was basically, they were ready to sacrifice him and he was going to walk the plank and he was just feeling powerless. He couldn't do anything and he wasn't fighting it. So the masculine had a choice of being powerless or he had a chance to get in his power and completely become the magician. The magician... Um, and to create his life, to, to be the magical higher consciousness being of sacred masculine who doesn't accept situations where he feels powerless or this is just my fate or, oh God, I'm surrounded by all these horrible Vikings. And guys, it's not an accident. The devil is here too, because in that vision they gave me, there was fire involved in this particular scene and it was really quite brutal. But it was a very strong illustration of what's coming through here is the divine masculine has a choice. It's almost like there's a, the path is diverging and we've seen it in our relationship choice points this year. And we're seeing it big time in the masculine. Are you going to choose, um, to, to accept and live from your full power? Or are you going to live from a place of powerlessness where somebody else has control over you? Or are you going to bust out and look at, oh my gosh, there's fire here too. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So, man, there's lots of messages coming through in this reading. So, um, <laughs> I hope that uh, this is probably one you'll have to watch more than once. But what I see happening for the masculine is when he makes this choice point, he has the opportunity to have success, to have love, and to have his divine feminine. The time is ripe for this to, to come forward because this is where there have been things that, um, that have been 
somewhat an illusion with this Seven of Swords. And this is where the masculine is breaking free of this trap. I'm getting the, I'm getting, I'm hearing, I'm hearing it's the opportunity to break free from your captor. It's like the, suddenly that like you're waiting for the right time to escape. It's time for the masculine to escape whatever he's being held captive by because he's been allowing it to some degree but he's also not really known his power until now. So again, very, very strong message. Okay, let's see what energy is um, challenging the Divine Masculine this month. What energy is challenging him? The Ten of Swords. The Knight of Cups. And the Nine of Swords. Well... Here is some stress and mental anguish, maybe some anxiety about um, opening up to the Divine Feminine. Because when I have the Knight of Cups here and the King of Cups, I feel like what's challenging for the Divine Masculine this month is maybe feeling like he's uncertain whether the Divine Feminine will accept him. Because there's sort of a class difference here between the Empress and the Knight. You know, the King of Cups and the Empress, more on a level playing field. But the Knight is sort of struggling with feeling worthy of her. Unsure that if she will receive his cup. And for some, it's about really leaving the past behind. But Knight of Swords is a difficult energy. And it also can be an energy of self-sabotage, too. I feel like what the masculine could be struggling with, if there was any sort of betrayal in the past or anything that was um, sneaky, something shady in the past, he's struggling with the fact that this happened and isn't certain whether she will accept his cup of love. Now let's see um, what energy is supporting the Divine Masculine this month. We have the Two of Wands. The Four of Swords and the Hierophant. Well, he's being supported to make the decision to choose his path. Wasn't that what I was saying this whole time? There's a choice point for the masculine. Are you going to go the devil energy or are you going to go the magician energy? Because the magician knows that he can create and manifest and ba balance things and be the master of his domain. The devil is just the opposite. The devil wants you to feel like you are not the creator of your reality. And here's the choice point. Here is the choice point. Because the choice point is a big spiritual lesson here. The masculine has been very thoughtful. He's not being um, he's not being brash or impulsive here. But his spiritual lesson is to maintain his balance as he makes this breakthrough and break away as he escapes his captors, whatever those are in your life. Wow. Powerful reading, my my friends. So um, I'll be heading over to the extended. We're going to get a lot more in-depth over there. The link is down below if you're interested in finding out more about that. But for those of you not going on to the extended, I'm going to leave you with the guidance message here for the Divine Masculine. What is the best guidance for the Divine Masculine for November 2020? And we have surrender to prayer. Give yourself completely over to prayer. And when you pray from your heart, you'll be heard throughout the universe. And the answers and support will arrive. I'm going to pull a second guidance card to accompany this one. And surrender your ego. 
both of these are about coming from the heart space. This is why he has the um, King of Cups, why he has the Knight of Cups. This is where um, it's important to cultivate gratitude, be of service to others, and come from your heart. A big ego can work against you, but humility will further your goals. So remember, opening your heart, getting out of your head, making sure that you don't, that you maintain your balance. Stay balanced in your essence. There are blessings coming here, but it's important that you open up the heart. Humility, which is not letting the ego and the fears get in the way of what you're meant to do here, which is open your heart, which is one of the things that you are being challenged with this month, Divine Masculine. But you know that when you do this, the blessings are on the way. So with that, guys, I hope you have a fabulous November. Please remember the 30% off my Divine Family 2 products. Those are um, highly, highly um, specialized programs. And um, until next time, guys, I send you so much love. Bye.